what's going on guys it's your boy indigo and welcome back to the channel today's gonna be a long one guys i got a few words to say so grab your cold beverage and your snack and um, let's get this started oh, before i begin please hit the like button it helps me out it helps the channel out leave a comment um shout out to everybody that's been rocking with me since day one and um, here we go guys so today well yesterday during smackdown i actually watched smackdown <laughs> only for my girl sasha banks but I, yeah i watched smackdown i didn't want to but it was for my girl sasha so as i was watching smackdown we got news that a lot of releases happened again but this time it was nxt a lot of nxt releases releases excuse me i believe there was 12 in total and i'm not going to name all the names because a lot of them i don't know neither nor do i care I'm just going to name the ones that well once and really got released then that was the most shocking one to me still can't believe he got released man um Mercedes Martinez, Leon Ruff. <sighs> I said it in my tweet. If you follow me on Twitter at Indigo Uchia, you probably saw my tweet. I'm gonna recite it here. <sighs> what we saw last night was just Nick Khan increasing his bank account, to be honest. Vince Bruce, the E, they don't care about the future. That's just the facts. NXT is officially dead. I'm not watching it no more. There's no point in watching NXT no more because there's a dead brand. Why invest time? Why invest time to a show where the people on it they not going they not going to have a future on Raw or SmackDown? They either going to get released or they going to be in catering. But as of recently, is this releases releases? So if you're not pointing plays to them, you're out. That's just how it's looking right now. And it's just getting ridiculous to the point where Adam Cole met with Vince last night during SmackDown as well. And he, apparently Vince offered him a seven figure deal. Don't take it, man. I'm sure Tony Khan could offer you that plus more. I'm just saying there's no future for you in that company. As long as Vince is around, you ain't going to make it very WrestleMania or be a multi-time champion. Yeah, he may promise you that, but that's not going to happen. You're going to be in catering, chasing after the 7-Eleven title. That's the, that's the reality. Like, he should just leave, join his friends, be all elite, and be creative and fleet. Like, there's no other... There's no other way to explain that, guys. Like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of people dreams work in the company. I get that, but at the same time, you're getting treated like shit. So what's the point, you know? So Adam Cole, I've been a fan of him since Ring of Honor days. Almost a decade now since I first seen him in Ring of Honor, and since then I've been a fan. My favorite match was that final battle. I think it was 2012, 2017, I can't remember. But him and Kyle Wright had this banger of a main event on that show. And since then, I've been a fan. He's been in the Bullet Club for a short while, but he was in the Bullet Club. This was when Kenny, Kenny took over as leader after AJ left to the E. And Adam Cole was a part of that. But he didn't stay that long because he chose to go to NXT with Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, who also got released. So I just hope he sees what we see, if I'm being honest with you guys. And for everybody else that got released, Bronson Reed surprised me the most because he just lost the North American Championship. He wasn't even champion for long. And he was supposed to have to get up, cool down, but... He had a trial, apparently, Vince didn't like what he saw. 
Yo, he's going, they going to regret that release the most out of everybody. Mercedes, but he is like, she, a veteran. She had a lot to offer in the ring and outside the ring, especially with younger talent. You're going to release somebody like that. Fuck this company, man. I'm done with them, to be honest. I only watched this shit for my girl Sasha and Roman. That's it. Now with Alicia and Walter. Those are the only three people that make me watch this shit still. But other than that, I don't care about them no more. All Elite is what I am. And I've been All Elite since day one. Ever since that New Year's episode of being the Elite. So I'm always going to support them. They're number one in America right now in terms of pro wrestling. And you guys already know New Japan is my number one promotion in all of wrestling. So there's no need for WWE if I'm being honest with you guys. So um, there's not more I can say, guys. Um. Adam Cole, all I'm going to say is after SummerSlam weekend and you put over Kyle O'Reilly and take over, I just hope you lose, man. There's just no hope for you, like I just said. And I, It's just looking more and more like they're just telling the company it's going to happen sooner or later, guys. Please believe it or not. And, and at this point, the Triple H taking over the narrative is dead. That's not happening either. As he treated his bench basically through his brain in the garbage. Like it's dead. So that's what I have to say, guys. Um another thing, man. Ric Flair, like I hear a lot of talk about it. I, I see him in AEW. We gonna see him in AEW sooner than later. Like it makes sense to me. Tony Khan is that type of guy. He's a huge fan of WCW, so I definitely see him coming in soon. What this means for Charlotte, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe. Oh, there's no such thing as WWE life is. Because I thought Braun Strowman was that in Bray Wyatt, but they got released. So Charlotte, maybe, you know, maybe. We'll for, forget all that. I want to see EO. My girl Sasha, you know, women like that, Dakota Kai and AEW for her or more than her rapping. So, um, that's what I had to say, guys. So, um, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my video. Um, again, leave a like, leave a comment, and um, check out the video, my recent videos on my channel. You guys will like them once. And um, until next time, guys, stay safe and take care.